So I'm going to be reviewing this Blackview Tab 6 8.5 inch Android 11 tablet. Blackview sent this to me at no cost, so it's free of charge to me. Thank you very much Blackview, just a small disclaimer there. So I've got no idea really about this tablet at all, I haven't done any research on it, I'm just going to try using it. I'm not a big Android user, I actually use an Apple OS, so I'm using a Mac computer, iPhone, that sort of stuff, that's my ecosystem is Apple. Yeah, it's harder to maintain that these days with the philosophy, that, anyway, I'm going to start using this thing, I'm going to use it for a little while, and I'll come back and do some more video after I've actually had some experience with it, and I can then give you some informed opinions rather than estimates. So I'm going to actually try using it and see how it performs for me and see what I think of it in the end. Check out whatever features I can. It seems to do quite a bit, so anyway, let's open the box. It's one of these nice fitting ones. So there's a the tablet. We get a USB to USB-C cable. A little manual. We have a charger, which is, I don't know, is that US charger, is it? But it's a 5 volt 1 amp USB charger, so if this isn't the right one for you, you can just use any charger. It's nothing too special about that. But here we have a little ejection tool, which is used for SIM cards. So that's curious. Does this have a 3G system as well, or 4G or 5G or something? So let's have a look. English manual, TF slash SIM card. Okay, so yes, it does take a SIM card. And a TransFlash, so or SD card, micro SD card. You can take two SIMs or a SIM and a TransFlash. Ooh, interesting. You can send SMS and MMS messages. Okay, that's what that covers. A little quick getting started guide. Don't forget to click like and subscribe if you like review videos. I don't normally do tech videos. I don't normally do reviews on products like this. I'm more electronics based, so if you found me because this is a tablet review, it's surprising. Hello. <laughs> Check out my other stuff, it might interest you. Here we have the actual tablet. This is Truffle Grey, this one. It's got LED and camera in the back there. It's a 5 megapixel camera. We've got a peel thing to do here. We've got to do a peel. I don't have any music still. I still don't have any music for this yet. Hopefully I've got some music by the time I edit this. I need to find some nice sort of sexy peeling music, you know. So some notes about usage here. An emergency of low battery state cause pad can not power on. Please keep the charger connected to the device for at least 30 minutes before doing anything. Okay, here we go. I'm going to use my tweezers. So apparently this thing's got 3 gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of ROM, which I'm guessing is just like SD storage effectively. So this I've got a power button just here on the side and potentially a, I think that's probably a volume button, it's like a double button, so probably is volume. Dual speakers on the bottom. And on the top we have a USB-C connector, the card slot here, and what looks like a 3.5mm audio jack. You see in this Apple, look Apple, see this? 3.5mm jack so you can plug headphones in. So let's start by ejecting this. So there's the tray. That's it, SIM card, that's memory card. So I'm only going to get memory card and put it in it. We'll put this back up the right way so when I put it back in it doesn't fall out. So you guys pop to the memory card in that tray there. Reinstall the tray. I don't have a spare SIM card or anything to put in this yet, but if I end up liking this, I might go and buy a SIM card for it and actually um, invest in it a bit more. It's got fingerprints all over it already. Look. Terrible. Okay, let's power it up. Yeah, it's booting up. Now, my lights aren't going to do so much justice when it's booting up. I'll get the angle a bit better, it might help. Let's see where we go. Is it? There we go. <laughs> English United States, let's see what we've got in here. There's lots of languages in here. Goes to subcategory, so can I do English New Zealand? Yes I can. Nice. Start. Connect to mobile network. Yeah, skip that. What about later on? Connect to the Wi-Fi. Okay, better get to the Wi-Fi network. Okay, connected to the network. Getting tablet ready. Can you feel the suspense? 
Well, I'll take a few minutes, apparently. Yeah. Whilst you're waiting, why don't you click like and subscribe? So what I actually want to do is get into the settings of this thing and check the specs inside the setting info. Google account. I do have a Google account. Let's do it. Oh, you can do a backup from an iPhone device. Okay, let's do Google signing. Okay, well I've signed into my Google account. That's all done. There's a basic initial configuration. I didn't really show you that because it's pretty simple to follow through anyway. I didn't really want to dox myself. <laughs> so anyway, it's working. We have a scuttable screen. Lots of apps already built in. And also you've got Google Play Store and stuff on there as well. So it does all the usual stuff, doesn't it? You go down the bottom there. Let's go to YouTube. Tubes. What's it doing? YouTube, YouTube's crashing. Maybe it's updating because it was doing downloads. Maybe it's doing an update as I was trying to launch it or something. I was just here doing downloads and stuff up the top here. It showed it downloading updates. So we go on the tubes. Apparently, Dave is a Santa Claus. <laughs> hey, Dave. Search for me just fine. Let's quickly watch something. See how it plays. It's this circuit board. Don't forget to click like and subscribe if you first time here. So it's really like, so like and subscribe. It's actually double sided. Go around. Does it not do that automatically? So Let's see. That way? No? Hmm. Quality. 1080p. You'd think it'd rotate, wouldn't you? There must be a full screen. So there we go. Now it's doing full screen. To exit, swipe down from the top. Right. Seriously? <laughs> Surely, surely it's a rotate. Hmm. Okay. That's curious. What am I doing wrong? Right, so it's detected the SD card I put in, which is a good thing. It's a tablet storage. Apps, files, media on its tablet only. Use a portable storage for transferring files and media between devices. Which one should I use? Yeah, I'm a bit concerned about it because I, I do want to put files on this. Oh, I suppose I can always change it again later. I'm still puzzled about why I couldn't get rotated views. Move content, SD card. Yeah, sure, move content, whatever. Just use the SD card, I've done with it. Right, that's that done. How do I get out of this stuff? Android setup. A few more steps to finish. Oh, great. No, skip that. I'll come back. Okay, there you go. There's the information about the tablet. Four core processor. Display size 800 by 1280. Doesn't say what speed the processor is, though. Don't have that referenced anywhere. Don't know. So I'm just probing around the settings here, and there's a direction lock. I'm guessing that should be turned off. That's probably why I couldn't rotate in YouTube. Right, so now I've changed that setting. Just turn it down a little bit. Let's try it again. We've got one of my videos playing. Hey, there we go. Right, can we do full screen like that? Yes, we can. That's much better. Awesome. So it's now a, I don't know, a week or two later. And I've been playing with this a little bit and had some time with it and tried using it and things like that. And it's actually not a bad little tab, but it seems fast enough. I've been fairly happy with it. I'm still trying to get used to the whole Android operating system and the way it works. Oh, there. Logan. Battery seems like it lasts a decent amount of time, that sort of thing. Screen's good enough. All the various apps I wanted to use were available and, and downloadable, you know, because it's got the App Store. Perfectly happy with that. I was able to get this to link with my Mac computer, which is a fair feat, actually, and transfer files between them. So I was actually able to do things like put circuit diagrams on here. So I could open the program up. So circuit diagrams and service manuals are transferred from my computer on here as a PDF. So that works fine. One little thing I did find on here, which I was surprised by, I have to say, I was actually quite surprised by this, is the camera app. It seems fine, but when you do video, 
its maximum resolution is 720p. So if I rotate it around, it's still 720p. So I'll try going to settings here, and the only options we've got are 720 and 480. So it doesn't actually do 1080p, which is a bit of a shame. It would have been nice if it did that. I mean, 720p is generally pretty good anyway, it's not too bad for stuff, but it would have been nice to have 1080p, because that's so common these days. Lots of devices support that. To me, that was a little bit of a... Oh, YouTube notification. So to me, that was a little bit of a letdown. It didn't do the 1080p resolution for video. I mean, I don't know, does it really matter? Maybe, maybe not. Depends what you're using it for. I think that was like a missed opportunity there, really. And you can change the aspect ratios up here. You see it there. 4x3, 16 9 aspect ratio for photos. So thank you very much, Blackview, for sending this to me at no cost. I've actually ordered a leather case for this, so you can actually buy accessories for these things on their AliExpress page. So I've ordered a leather case for this, because one thing I did notice is that the common trait these days is the camera sticks out slightly. All right, so you've got the flat back, and that's actually protruding. I'm kind of worried about putting this down and scratching the camera lens up. So I've actually ordered a leather case for this which um, hasn't arrived yet, but it'll be here soon, I expect. And that will help to protect the camera aspect of it. And I've been pretty happy with it. That's all the stuff I wanted it to do anyway. I don't have any demands though. Watching a bit of YouTube, viewing some service manuals. I don't intend to use this to do video or photos, really. I may do, but I don't intend to. Maybe when I'm working on equipment, I'll be able to do things on it. Check out the other review videos and stuff like that in playlists at the end of the video. There's some playlists like down there in the corner down here there's going to be a subscribe link just here and there'll be a patreon link right there catch you later